Setting up a telescope 101, if the bugs will leave me alone. <laughs> First thing you want to do when you pull this thing out of a box is you want to make sure that your tripod is good and secure. And all these points right here, everything is nice and secure and tight because you don't want a wobbly tri tripod, it's just bad. Now, when you set your telescope into your tripod piece, you want to make sure that your pivot bolts here are nice and snug and tight. You don't want it loose to where it just falls down on its own, but you do want it to be where you can just use one finger and just barely move it. You don't want it too tight to where it's glitchy like that. But you want a good smooth action going on just like this. And remember the more you go up and down like that, it'll loosen your bolts and you'll have to keep them snugged up so if you do a lot of up and down looking for different things or whatever just keep in mind you'll have to keep your your bolts tight now when it comes to the eyepieces on these things you're going to want to use the biggest diameter eyepiece that you've got the biggest one usually that comes with the telescope out of the box is a 20 millimeter and that's a really good size to use for all kinds of different things. A full moon fills the eyepiece pretty pretty well. Not much room on the outside. Now, using this big one is going to be your main one, but in order to aim this thing, what you're going to have to do to get good at this is to practice it like it's a, a rifle. You're going to want to pick something down off into the woods or down the street or down your driveway or whatever and just literally look down the crest of your telescope and try to aim it like a rifle and then see how close you are to your target. Go ahead and focus it in. And once you get good at this, you know, oop, set it back, and aim it again, bam, right back on target. And once you've gotten good at this, you're, what you're going to be able to do is now you're ready for step two and getting a little bit closer to whatever it is you're looking at. So once you've got your target and you know that you're pretty much centered, you can drop this eyepiece out instead of like a 10 millimeter or a 4 millimeter, which are common eyepieces that come with a basic telescope set. You can put it in there and then you can adjust out and bring it into focus and you're up close and personal with whatever it is you're looking at. But you want to use the big one first because it just makes it much easier to find the target because it's got lot, a lot more room to look. You've got everything around it not just the object that you're looking at. Hmm. If your telescope comes with a corrector elbow like this one, everything you see when you look through this is right side up and right as far as correct as in left and right. Now, if you don't have one of these, and your telescope is set up like this, everything is going to be upside down and backwards. So when you look through it and it appears that you need to move it up and to the right to follow the moon, you actually need to go down and to the left because everything is upside down, backwards, and inverted. These little things are quite handy. But once you've got the basics setting it up and ability to aim it at a target and look at whatever it is that you're wanting to look at, you're pretty much ready to step outside and look at something like the moon. This becomes pretty fun.